Welcome everyone, it's me, Soul Garden 74 and I'm just doing a quick midweek update. Okay, it's not quick, but this is a midweek update. I'm trying to be more consistent about sharing what's happening in my garden throughout the week. I am so excited to share there's a lot going on and this is a part of my healing process. So thanks for watching. Welcome everyone, it's me Soul Garden 74 and this is a mid midweek update video. I know, I know, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to start being more disciplined because I love gardening and I don't think it's fair to my subscribers, especially the ones who are new to garden, gardening, for me to just put out videos with everything already done and you don't get to see or understand what I've been doing in my garden until at the end of the month I'm like oh this is what's different from last month so I'm gonna try to do more of these midweek um, Sunday or Saturday weekend videos to let y'all know what's happening so let's see what's going on in the garden a week ago I planted these red scarlet runner bean seeds two weeks ago take that back this one here I actually started about three weeks ago and as you can see we already have some of the red flowers coming up I'm really looking forward to these because I want the hummingbirds in my garden and I've been trying to train them as they get longer to grow on this because you know in the early spring actually winter time January I had morning glory vining on this and it was beautiful but it just started dying out so I decided I might as well grow edibles on this I already have the um, purple passion fruit on that side so I said I might as well get more bang for my buck not really buck but more edibles on this vine so I decided I would plant purple scarlet runner beans because for one I love the flowers like I said if I don't even get beans the flowers alone would be enough for me so I've decided to plant red scarlet runner beans here too because I planted the purple butterfly peas and they did not they didn't grow at all Today I purchased this Valencia mango tree. So this is a new fruit addition to the garden. And over here is my purple sugar snap peas. I don't know how they're gonna do because it's more of a springtime plant, but I decided since it was over here in this corner, this corner gets pretty much shaded throughout the day that maybe it can work so we're, we're just trying it out and see um, <clears throat> as you can see I started drip irrigation throughout the garden and I'm gonna tighten up the cables the the tubes <clears throat> but it was just a test today to see if I can get it to work and I'm liking it you guys encourage me that it would be easy and you're right it is extremely easy to do the drip irrigation and I'm glad that I did it so one thing that happened today was I removed the tomato plants from these two beds here remember it was two tall tomato plants over here well I removed them Today I removed the two tomato plants that were in these two beds because honestly, they took a long time to even fruit. And when they did fruit, they weren't the greatest looking fruit. And the plant still wasn't putting on more fruit. Like I have about 10 tomato container plants and they're doing exceptionally well. I even got one right here in the garden see but I told myself I will not grow any tomatoes and raised beds anymore because they take up too much room they're 
those were indeterminate tomatoes so I removed them from the garden and today <clears throat> I planted a bushing cucumber watermelon and a pepper and then I spread out this parsley that was underneath that tomato plant and the reason why this is here is because I covered this up and shaded it throughout the day since it was transplanted this morning and I didn't want it to be stressed from heat so we're gonna grow bushing cucumbers a small bell pepper plant and watermelon in the in this bed so as you can see today I worked on the drip irrigation this morning like I'm usually out here at 6 a.m. before I clock in for work so I came out here and began working on the drip irrigation so over here where this tomato plant used to be now we have red scarlet runner beans right here because I wanted to vine up this so that we can get some beans in this bed but this bed also have lemon thyme parsley carrots dandelion chives and a bunch of marigolds it also has a red mustard over there so yeah I am no longer going to plant tomatoes in my raised beds because they're just taking up too much space guys so I finally was able to sheet mulch and cardboard layer this area and we got some of the wood chips down. I did not get a delivery. These are bags. I just wanted to see what it looked like because I got tired of the cardboard. So this is what all of this is eventually gonna look like. As you can see on the hill, I'm gonna plant my papaya trees in the ground because they really should be fruiting right now. Like I've had them for a year. So I'm gonna get all three of my papaya trees, this one included into the ground because I want to use this pot for some sweet potatoes but <clears throat> we're gonna get that into the ground and we're gonna have I'm trying to see which ones are males and females and I'm hoping that I have at least one male and one female papaya plant so right here is gonna be the pollinator area since you see the bee hotel already over there and this right here i'm going to build a l-shaped raised bed because that's going to be my seating area and i'm going to put those blackberries on this side and it's going to have a trellis like those so that my blackberries i can start training them to grow up the trellis on one side and then i started some purple passion um fruit from seeds that I'm also going to plant on this side of the trellis growing up but while I'm waiting for that I can go ahead and start planting cucumbers because it's going to take a while for that passion fruit vine to grow they're still in pots so that's the vision for this area and then right there is going to be a small table with an umbrella and maybe some type of shade thing for relaxation in company if I ever have company which I probably won't <clears throat> so I am really proud of my black eyed Susans now I started these from seeds in January and they are just now really beginning to open up and flower but they were worth the wait up here on the hill I have squash in this bed along with corn and my goal was to try the three sisters method but I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna get my black eyed peas in there like this squash <clears throat> is a monster it's a beast guys so over here is my okra and I was having problems with ants um, in this bed because that used to be an ant bed till I got rid of the ants and they were bringing aphids in so I added some demaceous herb around the base of my okra and I sprayed neem oil and I haven't seen any issues I also added this chrysanthemum 
to the bed because it's a natural pest deterrent and I added onions as well to deter it and these are walking onions you see that like I can literally plant those these are the walking Egyptian onions right here and that's why they're considered walking because that's how they spread like this so in this bed along with the okra is um, sunflowers and some radishes to be an understory as the okra grows out it can shade out and then I added watermelon as well because I want the watermelon to vine down this hill right here so these are my pigeon peas and I planted these here to be a nitrogen fixer and I'm gonna try to keep them like a hedge I know people say they grow like trees but I'm gonna keep them pruned so I also add pigeon peas to my pot and I just pruned this one because it was down here but it got up to here with my um, avocado tree so I went ahead and pruned it because like I said I'm just using them as nitrogen fixers this bed was revamped guys and in this bed we have ground cherries three ground cherries we have Malabar spinach red scarlet runner beans and oh my god these beautiful zinnias red and orange are my favorite colors but look how vivid and beautiful that red is like I am in love these are the dreamland zinnias so beautiful I have different varieties of zinnias and this was my first Cosmo that I grew from seed really it was like the only one that really germinated in January so I also added lemon balm and Russian tarragon to this bed so that I can have fragrance when I'm out here in the evenings like this jasmine right here it always smells so good when I'm sitting out here this is also the moon flower which is night blooming and very fragrant so I'm looking forward to that vining up here and we have those aromatherapy in the garden so I moved my calamondon over here guys so my idea of having the um, lufa yeah didn't work so I'm gonna remove all of that I have some red scarlet runner beans started over there so I think I'm just gonna plant red scarlet runner beans underneath here because I had ordered like a whole ton of them and they can go in and everywhere so I'm really loving these baskets they're still the highlight of my garden for me I think I'm gonna put some baskets on this side and grow some herbs on this side too the sweet potato bed is looking good it's getting thicker um, some of the corn germinated some of the corn did not so I'm going to try to plant some more corn seeds in this bed guys last week I topped my loquat tree because I wanted to start branching out I want to keep my fruit trees low because they're going to be grown in containers and I'm short and I'm not climbing no tree to get fruit so and the other day we had a monarch visitor and look what we got so I took a whole bunch of babies in can't focus I'm trying to focus guys but I took a whole bunch of babies in where are they yesterday and I'm gonna take them in tonight and there's another one right there so we still got tons of oh there's ooh some right there we've been having some monarch baby action in the garden but I'm taking them in tonight because I have a wasp issue guys 
and they're eating my caterpillars. I can't have that. My potatoes are getting close to being ready. You can see it looks so pitiful. But I actually found a small baby potato on top the other day. I'm loving this area over here. The flowers are starting to fill in. And this is the sweet potato pot because what I did was put slips in between here because my vision was to have the vines come down and become a ground cover and then we'll have sweet potatoes growing as well down here. But I thought it would be cute. I love vining stuff. I love the look of vines. And I love the yellow flowers with the yellow pot and the yellow blanket flowers. Like, I love it. My zinnias are starting to open up. I started these from seeds and I planted them out here. And they're starting to open up. And this is porter weed right here. So I have a lot of things happening to bring in beneficial insects. And... I could not wait for my echinacea to flower, so I got this cone flower here from Lowe's because I love cone flowers. And this is my lemon bergamot. And I took this, I tried to transplant it from the community garden. It did not transplant well. So I ended up cutting all the leaves and the flowers, dried them because this is, you can use this to make a tea. And as you can see, we're getting more flowers. They have long, beautiful flowers, kind of like salvia, but unique. And the bumblebees actually absolutely love them. So this right here is my new entranceway that I made. And we got grapes on this side. And I'm waiting on my nighttime jasmine to go on that side. And I transplanted some watermelons in this pot here and one of my squashes that I started from seeds and this was a trans this was a cutting tomato from one of my tomato um you know the little I can't even think right now but um yeah I rooted this in water and got a little tomato right there so this was on clearance at Walmart today and I had to get it all it needs is deadheading in seeds are actually in these right here so i'm going to save the seeds but once you deadhead it it'll get more blooms and it's another blanket flower so yeah this is my mid week update of the garden like i say i do a lot in the garden and i forget to share what i'm doing and i'm trying to get better about that because that's a part of me dealing with childhood abandonment issues where I need to keep things to myself so it's forcing me to share and I will be doing more of these videos guys and I want y'all to see how beautiful the sky looks over the garden but yeah thanks for watching if you like this video please like share comment subscribe if you have any questions I'm here I can answer them and thanks so much for joining me in the garden this evening and have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.